Hey fish fam, what's up? So it's been a minute, let's do some updates. I have uh, been working my butt off and I've done a lot of things in my fish room and I wanna show them to you. So check it out, this is my 40 gallon shrimp neocaridinia tank. Um, over here we've got Italian Val, we've got Cryptocorin Undulata, Ludwigia Olivase, um, these are red metallic crypts. Back there you can see some shoreweed. Um, you can see a little bit more of the shoreweed back there. These are just some mixed color neos. You've got a crenum natans, crenum calamistratum, and that's like a red parrot feather something and some heteroid crypt back there. More Italian val or American val, whatever you want to call it. And if you look in the back, there's Anubis nana, and we've got some Busa philandra down here. Not sure what kind that is. And if you look way in the back, you'll see there's a bunch of pylon moss back there. That's because behind this wood, there's like a giant rock pile. Um, that's how the shrimp are breeding so well. It actually starts like right here and then goes all the way to the back of the tank with rocks and moss and basically a baby shrimp nursery. Um, you can't really see it from the front. You can see kind of where the rocks start. I used holy lace rock back there. So there's a whole bunch of that. This is just like my favorite tank right now. Look how pretty it is. I love it. Okay, moving on. So we got some new inhabitants here at Oddball Aquatics. These two guys I got about a week ago. So this is a brown African knife fish. And we got a little bit of a problem with him we're going to have to talk about. But yeah, African brown knife fish. He's from Africa. Fancy that. I like African fish. Found an African fish. Brought it home. Anyways... So, he's burying my plants. He thinks he's a cichlid. I don't know what his deal is. Look, he won't even let snails back there in his little hole. He just spits them out. <sighs> so, he's, like, burying my plants in the sand. This is, like, one day or two days after I got him. Cut to the next day. Completely buried that plant. Dug all the way to the bottom of the tank. Starting to bury these plants. Uh <sighs> And that's like, eh, three days. Yeah, he's he's not going to stop. So I talked to some monster fish keepers, talked to Ohio Fish Rescue. Apparently they need a cave. So don't mind the murky water. I just did a whole bunch of water changes. But uh, yeah, so we added a piece of wood back there. Hopefully that'll make him stop digging stuff up. He's back there acting like he's happy about it. So, you know, hopefully that works out. He'll stop digging up my plants. All right, let's talk about this guy. So this pleco is the chillest pleco I've ever had in my life. I was really afraid he was going to be the one that would bother my plants, but um, he just hangs out and lets the shrimp ride around on him like that, like a weirdo. Doesn't really move a whole lot. He eats like a tank, but other than that, he's pretty cool. i um, not really sure what kind of pleco he is other than albino, but if you know, let me know in the comments. And let's do a pond update. How about that? Check this pond out. All right. <clears throat> so the shrimp I put in there, they haven't caught all of them. I think they're faster than the rope fish. So this is my rope fish pond. I was trying to feed them shrimp, and the shrimp are actually breeding in there now because I didn't put those shrimp in there. So those shrimp are breeding in there now. Hopefully that's just a sustainable food source for them. Um, this corner, you'll notice, normally has Brazilian pennywort, but I had like a mold issue happen. So put some Anubis in there. That's a peace lily. That is... Some hair on my finger. That's a pothos. That is a... What is that? Uh, hang on, I'll think about it. Anyway, this is where I cut the Brazilian pennywort off. Trying to save what I've got left here. It still hangs out in the water. Pothos. I've been working with this pothos. I'm going to try to get it to grow all the way around the pond. I've got this rock kind of pushing it where I want it to go. I used it right there to make it do this like turn right here. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to run it around in one more circle here. Kind of like this. And then I'm going to try to get it to run all the way around the outside edge of the pond. And then move kind of up to the back there. And I thought about having it go up the top, but that's not going to work because I have to open the lid. So I'm going to have it run all the way around here all the way back into like the pothos jungle right here. I think that'll be cool. We'll see. I don't know. Maybe run it across there. I don't know. Um, so this is my peace lily and it is bonsaiing itself because it has no more room to grow. 
So I just kind of keep trying to encourage that by like kind of wrapping these leaves around and giving them, you know, putting them where I want to grow. I got to kind of be careful with that because like some of these leaves that I want to move around and I want to move like, okay, so I've got like two piece lilies here. Okay, so what is that? Oh, spider plant. That's what that plant is. Okay, spider plant. So I have to be careful with these leaves because if I move them the way I want to, like that, they'll like hang out of the pond. So I kind of got to be careful with that. I got one more piece of lily over here doing the same thing. Hopefully I can turn this into something cool right now. It just kind of looks a little messy, but we'll see. I'm working on it. These are all projects, little tiny projects. So yeah, see that? I got to be real careful when I close this down that I don't pinch a leaf or that I push any leaves that are sticking out into there so that they don't get squashed. And then that's the pond. So anyways, so 50 low boy. Still working on this 50 low boy. Nothing really new to report other than that it is completely overgrown with Pond McGee Gaia and Ludwigia Olivais. So if you need some of that, uh, I got some, AquariumDragon.com. I got a whole bunch of it that needs to go before it grows algae. So Taiwan Lily's looking good. Lymphophilia Aromatica looking good. Tons and tons of Pond McGee Gaia which is a beautiful plant and will grow super fast. Um, that's the bamboo growing high. Here's another cool thing. This uh, pilo moss is starting to grow up and over the top of this awesome piece of wood. The shrimps like to hang out down in there and it looks pretty cool. Taiwan lily's looking good. That's a red metallic crypt over there on the right. These crypts are taken off here. Those are the Rose and Maiden crypts. So yeah, 50 low boy looking good. I got that light hung up. I still need to hang the other light up. And Pothos is growing up and out. And I'm going to try and run that all the way around my fish room. Uh, this is the 36 gallon puffer tank. Not really much to update in here other than I keep fighting the algae that's in here. Because the puffers eat snails and it gets all mucked up. Uh, 55 gallon Bashir tank, really nothing new to report there. Um, it's overgrown with Taiwan lilies and jungle vow, and they're just living their best lives. Uh, Patriot is in this little hang on the front, and the guppies, the albino galaxy guppies, are still doing awesome. They're still my favorite guppy in the whole world. Huneroy crypts, all kinds of stuff going on in there. I write notes to myself on my tanks. Um, looking up above, this is the tetra tank right now. I moved the tetras in here. They're shy. They don't come out. Rainbows are in there too. Blue Galaris tank. Not really much new to report other than he killed his girlfriend. So now I just have one male Blue Galaris. Not really sure what to do with him other than keep feeding him. Because look how cute he is. So yeah, that's him. Um, over here... This used to be the crabs tank. Uh, I got rid of the crabs because um, I'm over it. The male, the alpha male kept killing everybody. So right now this is the red panda barb tank, holding tank. And this is where I'm breeding the red panda barbs. So I've got a pair in here and a pair up there. I'll kind of move them back and forth. Put this pair in here, see if anything hatches out. Put the next pair in, kind of musical fishing them. But they're definitely breeding like every day. And a little wiggle. He does a little wiggle. He's like, hey, come here in this uh, plant with me. And she's like, no. He's like, come on, man. No. Anyways, moving on. So this is the uh, Splash Tetra tank. They have a bunch of tannins added to their tank now. They're hiding down here in all this Pond McGee and Gaia, which, again, I have a ton of. AquariumDragon.com, if you'd like to have some. Um... They live down here in this jungle, and they love their life. And ever since I put those tannins in there, they have really colored up. So I'm hoping they will breed on this lid. Look at this forest of plant craziness. So yeah, that's them. This is the rando tank. This is my 10-gallon random tank. These zebra danios came from my the school that the bear works at they had a tank there that when it shut down for all the craziness um they had a bunch of stragglers that needed somewhere to go so also that uh cory cat you just saw came from there and there's some plecos over here 
just regular bristlenose plecos that came from there. So those are probably going to a swap meet soon just because I don't have room to house them anymore. I need that tank for strategic breeding purposes. Also, there's too many plecos in there. It's a little bit, a little bit overstocked, especially if you consider the crazy amount of snails. There's also a few other catfish in there, little corridoras. Insanity. Okay, next we got the axolotl, Major Tom, and his two little snail friends. Little big snail friends, whatever. They tear up plants, so they don't have any plants. Um, but they do pretty well over here. Still no, fil no filter. I do have some air running into that tank just to keep it cool. Outdoor tub. So this is my outdoor tub full of all my muck guppies. Crazy amount of muck guppies. Loving life. Getting some sun, some suntan. They're looking pretty fresh. Um, did you? I got duckweed out there, but it's good for them. They like it. Duckweed's not bad. It's all right. Lots and lots of guppies. So yeah, summer tubbing underway. And that's about it. I haven't really been doing anything other than working. So, you know, live your best life. This is my inspiration wall where I write down all the things that I tell myself all the time. And also my water change schedule. So, yeah, productive, not busy, people. Live your best life. Hope you enjoyed this update. If you need some plants, aquariumdragon.com. And, uh, you know, live your best life. Love you.